Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent. This is already the part 10th of our top 10 succulent series. And if you haven't watched yung ating parts 1 to part 9, then you might as well check yung ating comment section below kasi nandun lahat ng ating mga links. But for today, we're gonna be talking about yung top 10 succulent secrets that I'm gonna be sharing to you. This one is all based on my personal experience in growing yung ating mga succulents, something na could help you out, especially if you are struggling in growing your succulents. Kasi in reality, medyo complicated din mag-alaga ng ating mga succulents. Kailangan talaga nila ng care. And so that's what we are gonna be discussing today. First, and I think the most important sa pag-aalaga ng ating mga succulents will be our potting mix or the soil mix that we are gonna be using for them. We always read or keep hearing na dapat well draining yung ating soil mix na gagamitin sa kanila and that's very true but in addition to having a good drainage sa ating soil mix dapat din it would be containing nga yung mga essential nutrients na kailangan ng ating succulent for it to grow healthier and better. When I water my succulents, I make sure to use yung ating mga rainwater. Ideally, talaga mas maganda yung ating rainwater para sa ating mga succulents kasi they contain nga some nutrients na kailangan nila for their growth. But if you don't have yung ating mga rainwater, you can also make use of our plain tap water na we can easily get sa ating mga faucet something na okay din sa ating mga succulents just to make sure na they are well hydrated. I water my succulents regularly, sometimes every two weeks, sometimes every three weeks, but it would depend on which succulent I am watering. Kasi yung iba, they really require more water as compared to the other succulents na longer yung kanilang period of watering. You just have to make sure that you don't overwater or underwater your succulents. Another thing that you have to consider is yung ating drainage hole sa ating mga succulents kasi even if we're gonna be using a well-draining potting mix, if yung ating pot itself has no drainage sa pinakailalim niya, then it's gonna be useless. I advise na dapat talaga may mga butas yung pinakailalim ng kanilang pot so that if we water them, talaga magdi-drain agad yung tubig or if for example you will be putting them in an outdoor setting na talagang expose sila sa ulan dapat malalaki talaga yung kanilang mga drainage holes and you have to make sure na hindi siya barado kasi sometimes may mga bumabara sa ating mga drainage holes and so ang nangyayari is nalulunod nga yung roots ng ating mga succulents including yung buong plants and so if we're gonna be using yung containers like this na parang glass or any material na ganito na sa pinakailalim it has no drainage holes you have to put siguro mga rocks I'm using here yung ating mga broken clay pot sa pinakailalim and on top of it we have yung ating pinaka soil mix but this one is very risky dapat talaga controlled yung watering sa kanya our sunlight exposure sa ating mga succulents is very important as well kasi that's what makes them look compact, look healthy, and more colorful. Kaya talagang napaka-importante na ilagay natin sila sa isang area na talagang naarawan sila. Karamihan ng ating mga succulents, they require at least 4 to 6 hours of full sunlight or direct sunlight every day but that would now depend on the variety or kind of succulent we are growing kasi for example yung ating mga haworthias napansin ko na they don't thrive well pag naka full sun sila parang they prefer yung nasa bright shaded area lang sila as compared for our sedums and echeverias and other succulents na gustong gusto nila yung ating full sun for us to achieve this kind of compact looking rosettes and I have to mention that with more sun exposure the happier our succulents would be one of the reasons why our succulents are not growing healthily or sometimes they have these deformed leaves and they are just simply not in their good shape is because of our pests and yung ating mga fungal infection that could appear suddenly from time to time. Yung ating mga pests kasi, they love to hide dito sa in-between ng mga leaves especially if nababasayan 
or hindi siya nag-drive for some period of time, talagang very prone sila sa ating mga pests. And as a result of that one, syempre, nandyan rin yung ating mga fungal infection as a result of overwatering our succulents or hindi maganda yung ating ventilation. Another thing is that yung ating mga pests such as yung mealybugs and aphids, ang gustong-gusto nilang tambayan would be the flower stalks of our succulents and so every time I visit my garden ang una kong tinitignan talaga are the flower stalks kasi once I see or spot one aphid or one millibug dyan talagang pinuputol ko na agad yung kanilang pinaka flower stalks but if I didn't see anything naman I just leave it there kasi I enjoy watching yung aking mga succulents bloom But we have to remember na pag may mga pests or any fungal diseases na sila, we have to isolate and treat them right away. As part of our grooming and maintenance sa ating mga succulents, we have to keep them clean. And when I say keep them clean, we have to remove some of the old and dead leaves na naka-attach pa sa kanyang stem. Or sometimes nga itong mga old or dried leaves na ito is nauhulog na lang sila ng kusa. And nandun sila sa ating pinaka soil. So we need to remove all of this. Naturally naman talagang namamatay yung mga old leaves. Especially yung pinaka bottom leaves ng ating mga succulents as they grow. And so removing this would help na i-prevent natin yung mga possible pests or fungal infection na mangyayari. And another one is because kailangan natin mag-provide ng space para sa ating mga growing succulents like this one. Diba? May kita natin napakadami niya ng offsets and it helps if we will be removing these old dead leaves. Another one worth sharing is how I fertilize yung aking mga succulents. Like here, for example, our sedum burrito, mapapansin ninyo napakadami niya ng growth or humahaba na nga siya. But yung kanyang pinakapot is very small, something na medyo mahirap siyang iripot. Kasi nga of the succulent na nakatanim dito na talagang trailing siya. And so, it's expected na yung ating soil is already poor in nutrients and therefore, we need to supplement it with nutrients. Another example would be yung ating mga succulents in an arrangement. Definitely, they would be staying in this pot for several years, not unless we will be uprooting or transferring them into a bigger pot just to refresh yung kanilang pinaka soil. But one of the easiest ways nga would be yung paglalagay natin ng mga fertilizers. Dati, I'm using yung ating mga slow-release fertilizers such as our Osmo Coat na good for 3 to 4 months. But recently, I am using this kind of fertilizer. It was recommended to me by a friend. It's water-soluble, kaya all we need to do is just add yung ating water. Ayan, and then we're gonna be dissolving nga yung parang granules niya. This is an organic fertilizer from Japan. That's why I prefer using this nowadays. And all we need to do is just simply mix it. Ahaluin lang natin yung tubig until ma-dissolve na nga completely yung mga granules. Ayan, dapat ganito yung kakalabasan niya. And so, it's already ready na ipang dilig. This one is a concentrated one and therefore we have to mix it sa 5 liters of water. So, kumbaga yung 1 tablespoon of this is already good for 5 liters of water. Kaya napakatipid niyang gamitin. And ang gagawin lang natin, syempre, is we have to mix this one again. Ayan. But since it's already dissolved, mas madali na lang siyang ihalo this time. Ayan yung ating pitcher na ginagamit ko for applying my fungicides and fertilizers. Nandyan lang siya. Ayan. So, let's just mix it. After mixing, all we need to do is like this. Ipang didilig lang natin siya sa ating mga succulents. Ganyan lang siya. Something that I do every month or twice a month. Kasi yung ginagamit nating fertilizer has a low NPK content. Kumbaga, 8% lang siya. And sometimes, instead of dissolving it in 5 liters of water, ang ginagawa ko is parang half the dosage strength na parang 10 liters yung ginagamit kong tubig. And therefore, I'm just feeding my succulents about 4% nung ating NPK. 
And if you are wondering kung ano nga ba yung ating mga NPKs, yung ating N stands for nitrogen. Sila yung responsible for the leaf development ng ating mga succulents or plants in general. Yung P stands for phosphorus. Sila naman is responsible for the growth ng ating mga roots or ugat ng ating mga plants. And lastly, yung K is for potassium. They are responsible for disease resistance and overall health ng ating mga succulents. Sometimes, I also fertilize yung aking mga ornamental plants pag may sumobra nga doon sa ginawa nating liquid fertilizer. And so, whatever fertilizer you are using, you have to use it carefully kasi yung ibang mga fertilizer sobrang tapang and they can burn your plant. One of the main goal of growing our succulents is also to make them colorful. Yun nga yung tinatawag nating stressing our succulents. So something that you have to learn how to do it kasi it's not just about exposing yung ating mga succulents sa full sun. It's not just about the cold temperature but it's a combination of sun and yung ating water. Napansin ko kasi... If we will be stressing yung aking mga succulents, yung talagang maging colorful sila, dapat they will be having at least 6 or 8 hours of direct sunlight every day and yung kanyang watering should be controlled. So if I'm not gonna be watering yung aking mga succulents for quite some time, then the more they became stressed and the more they become colorful. So ganun yung ginagawa ko. But since sa ngayon, lagi silang nauulanan, hindi natin masyadong ma-appreciate yung kanilang colorful na leaves. Something na I cannot avoid sa ngayon kasi talagang this is an open rooftop. I cannot control pag umulan, talagang mababasa sila. But in short, if you wanted to have a colorful succulent, give them more sunlight exposure and you have to water them less often. One of the things that I love to do is to propagate yung aking mga succulents. It's not just about me trying to have more in my collection, but it's also one way for me to make sure na pag namata yung pinaka mother plant na succulent natin, I have a reserve or kung baga hindi ako manghihinayang na namatay yung pinaka mother plant natin kasi I know that I have propagated yung aking succulent from the very beginning or from the start. And so sa ngayon, I do have a lot of leaf propagations. Ayan, nakalagay lang sila sa isang bright shaded area kasi... I'm trying to grow more of my succulents. Napaka therapeutic and napaka relaxing to see yung aking mga succulents to grow slowly. Ayan yung ating rubidona. Finally, nagka offset sa din siya. And so, you can propagate yung inyong mga succulents pala through their leaves. Parang ganyan. Or, pwede nyo ring gawin ito yung talagang tatanggalin nyo yung leaves sa pinakataas na rosette for you to encourage nga new rosettes like what we can see here. Or, lastly, syempre, we just need to wait for our succulents to produce yung kanyang offsets. Kasi if they are healthy and they are in a very conducive environment, then definitely they will be rewarding you with multiple offsets that could eventually grow into a mature succulent. Lastly, if you wanted to grow yung ating mga succulents, you have to enjoy the process kasi there are times talaga na may mga casualties tayo, may mga mamamatay na succulents, may mga masisira. For example, itong ating euphorbia here na talaga namang nasimento siya. But even if na ganun yung nangyari, I wasn't really that affected. Kumbaga, I know na they can recover. And so, I'm not stressing myself just because of what happened to this plant. Ayan. So, always remember then na pag mag-aalaga tayo ng ating mga succulents, we should be ready with the possibilities na from time to time talagang may mawawala sa kanila, may mag-goodbye sa ating mga collection. Also, we need to remember not to compare our collection to the collection of others. Kasi that what makes you feel parang stress or how do you call that term? Yung parang you feel jealous because you think na ang gaganda ng succulents ng iba but yung succulent that you have right now is just common or ordinary. So something that you should be avoiding, never compare your succulent plant to other collector's plants. Kasi growing succulents have different stages. Baka naman you are comparing your collection to someone's collection na 10 years nang nag-aalaga. Kaya talaga namang 
ang dami niya ng succulents or sometimes you might be questioning yourself kung bakit namamatayan kayo ng succulents or bakit hindi healthy yung inyong mga succulents then definitely there is something wrong something that you have to learn kumbaga you have to learn from your experiences kasi I myself is also learning from my mistakes And that's all for our top 10 succulent secrets. They are not really secrets, but things that you have to consider when growing yung ating mga succulents. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page, a Desert Succulent PH.